This clip is of David Benavidez uh, sparring Kelly Pavlik. It's from about 10 years ago. So Benavidez is 16 or 17. Pavlik is at the apex of his career at this point. Um, so now just keep in mind, watch how, how unbelievably skilled Benavidez is for being still being a teenager and how big he is for, for being a teenager size-wise. Uh, so round by round, let's break it down. All right, so Benavidez is in uh, the white headgear. Pavlik's in the red headgear. Started off throwing some jabs. Oh, now let's check out this combo by Kelly again. So there's a jab by Benavidez, and then Kelly throws two distraction punches and then fires off power shots. So two lighter distraction punches followed by some power shots. Kind of confuses uh, the opponent. Lulls him to sleep. All right, let's check this out again, this exchange. All right, Benavidez throws a distraction up top and then goes down to the body. Now Kelly ooh, comes over the top with a hard right, which is blocked by Benavidez. Now they're just kind of posturing. Benavidez has his hand dropped, puts it back up, picks off Kelly's jab. Uh, another jab, couple jabs picked off. Oh, and then Benavidez jumps in with this combo. Now watch this. He does a jab, straight right, then another jab. So that's rare because most people do a one, two, three, which will be a jab, a straight right, and left hook. So guys are, guys are generally lifting up to block for that left hook, but instead Benavidez came with a straight right, so when you lift up to block the left hook, this is open and boom, the one two, one always lands and uh, Packet did that really well. All right, so now they keep going. Oh, oh, nice body shot and ooh, exchange. Let's, let's check that out again. Right, he misses, Benavidez misses, there was a hard body shot up there. Pekalik is, is waiting, blocking, ooh, and Pavic. ooh, and then they both land hooks right there. Double left hook. Sometimes before people go down. Oh, now there we go. Benavidez is throwing a good combo here, coming over the top with that right hand. Let's check that out. All right, he, he throws a body shot, which drops Pavlik's hand, then comes up top with the right, then throws a left hook to the head and a left hook to the body. Such great and another left hook to the body, dropping Pavlik's hand again. You see it right there, and then boom, coming up top after he had his hand dropped. The combination punch placement for Benavidez is amazing. Now there's Pavlik with a body shot, and then a left hook up top, it lands. And then there's a good body shot by Benavidez, a jab by Kelly. Now they're both kind of just waiting. Another jab by Kelly, waiting again. Oh, and a nice straight right by Kelly, but it was blocked. And then Benavidez with two left hooks. Oh, that's a nice combo, and then Kelly answers. Let's see that again. Jab, right hand to the body, two left hooks to the head by Benavidez, and then a right hand over that dropped left hand by Pavlik. And Pavlik answers with a body shot and a head shot. Oh, there's another good combo. Benavidez leaps on him. And Kelly answers back. And another jab by Kelly. Nothing really landed too solid in that exchange. Another jab by Kelly. Oh, let's check that again. So he, Benavidez blocks it, throws a body shot. Kelly blocks it, counters him. And then Benavidez counters Kelly back. A lot of good countering. Oh, let, let's check out this exchange. A nice overhand right. Then a counter uppercut by Kelly Pavlik right there. Oop, and then a nice body shot underneath by Benavidez. And then Benavidez counters again. And he's countering again. Looking very good. Let's check that again. There's a whole bunch of shots landed. Right, overhand right. There's one, two. Steps back, Benavidez. Kelly comes back in. Three, four, five. Steps back again. And then finishes off with a little six shot right there. Good work, good work. So now David's in the corner. <clears throat> his dad turns off his mouthpiece. You can see the dad's a little younger there. So this was obviously a while back. Uh, Benavidez is pay, pl a punch placement and also his ability to, to explode and spring forward is very impressive. And the way he puts together his punches and his countering, he's just like an old soul, very advanced for his age. You could tell back then this kid's gonna have a real future. 26. All right, starts again. A couple exchanges. Uh, body shot. Good punching. And you see great movement by Benavidez. Let's check that again. Counters him with a jab. Hits him with a right. Dips back. Keeping great distance. Straight right, and then another uppercut to the body. And then Kelly drops that hand again, and then Benavidez comes back upstairs after, and with another straight right. He really knows how to play punch, uh, place his punches. Oh, nice straight right counter by Benavidez. Earmuffs, now they're in close quarters. Uppercut by Benavidez, let's see that again. Kelly throws a body shot and immediately countered with an uppercut by, by Benavidez. 
Followed by a nice straight right. Eddie jumps out. Counters and then springs in. Let's see that again. So Kelly throws the jab. It's blocked. And then Pedro's counters and then springs in there. Throwing a barrage of punches. Kelly again has that hand dropped. That left hand's dropped. And he's coming up at the top. And there, there's some good defense by Kelly Pavlik. None of that really landed. Let's check it out. He puts out the range finder. Pavlik throws an overhand right. Ducks. Dips. Blocks. And then also eludes that last punch. Great work by these guys. So that was just a uh, short little clip of uh, David Benavidez as a youngster. And you see Robert Garcia right there watching on to the left. Um, sparring world champion at the time. Middleweight world champion Kelly Pavlik. You really get a feel for the natural IQ that Benavidez has. And, you know, here he's a little chubbier. Eyes are deceiving. You know, he always said, they always said when he was younger he didn't look like a boxer. But when he got in that ring, people are like, wow. Um, where do you rate Kelly Pavlik on the all-time list? He's not talked about much, but he was a hell of a fighter. Where do you guys rate him? Uh, he, he obviously, his one kind of dent in his career was when Bernard Hopkins at 40 came in and, and kind of handled him. But other than that, he had a great career. And more importantly, about David Benavidez. And it seems like he's going to fight Dave Morrell now, and Canelo, once again, doesn't want to fight him. Do you think David Benavidez is the next guy in the super middleweight division and even the light heavyweight division? He's about 6'2", so he's definitely moving up to light heavyweight soon. Where do you guys place David Benavidez now, and do you think he's going to be the next guy to take over that light heavyweight and super middleweight divisions? Let me know in the comments. Hey, guys, please subscribe and smash that like button. And if there's any fighters you want us to interview or anything else, any questions or comments, hit us up. We're here for you.